One of my subscribers, Dan Esk, had watched my dried to fried morel mushroom video and said, but you didn't tell us how to dry them. So this video is for you, Dan S. Uh, last night, my son and his friend Mike and myself, we all went looking for morel mushrooms and we found quite a few, for us anyway, and we still had quite a few from before. So my husband was gonna make morel mushrooms, but I thought with this batch, I would dehydrate them. So if you wanna dry mushrooms, you can actually do it in your oven. You can just lay them on the counter and let them dry. But the fastest way for me is using my Excalibur dehydrator. So here goes. Okay, the first thing we need to do is clean them. And to do that, I cut them in half. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And there you go. You know, this is one of the ways you can see it's a true morale. Because see, it's all hollow inside. And this is attached all the way to the stem. Okay, we'll do it again. Again, beautiful, no bug damage. I cut off a little bit of that stem. And I'll be back when I have the rest done. Well, do you see the slug in there? That's one of the reasons we cut them in half to make sure we get out all the slugs. Slugs love morel mushrooms. So we just have a bowl of water here and we're gonna put in just a little salt. That's good. I never measure it. And then I'm just mixing it up a bit. I'm going to be putting mushrooms in here after we rinse them. Now we're just going to rinse our mushrooms like this. And bugs can be in all these little holes. And then going to just put them here. I put them this way down. They're going to float in this water for about at 30 minutes. And the salt helps force the bugs to come out. So again, I'm just rinsing them. And this is getting off any dirt. I mean, you don't want to dehydrate dirt on your mushrooms. These are really nice, clean mushrooms, though. I think they just came out today. Otherwise, there'd be a lot more slug activity. I'll be back when I have these done. So here we have them. I try to put them face down, but sometimes they flip over. When I cut them in half, I found three slugs and two bugs. And that was it, which really isn't bad. They really didn't have a lot of bug holes. And uh, when I washed them, I didn't find any more. But now we're putting them in the salt water. So if there are any other little critters in here, that should draw them out. And I'm gonna put them in here for about 30 minutes. Now they say some people leave them overnight in this, in the refrigerator. Um, personally, I think that's fine. Other people says it affects taste, but I mean, it's entirely up to you. I do this usually for only 30 minutes. So we'll be back when the soaking is done. So 30 minutes are up. We're just draining out the water. And you can let it drain as much as possible. Of course, the more water in here, the longer it's going to take to dehydrate. We have one tray here and about another half tray to put in the dehydrator. So I have on the lower vegetable setting. And I'm gonna check on them in four hours. It usually takes between four to eight hours, depending on how much moisture is on them and how big the mushrooms are. So we'll be back in four hours. So here's the half tray. You see they really dried up. This was probably about four and a half hours. We're going to put them in this jar. They really look small. Let's 
see what the other tray looks like. These are the bigger ones. Hmm, just definitely dry. Great. Now I'll just jar them up. Just going to use my food saver, put on this device here. I think these are about eight bucks on Amazon. Put that in there and then do the accessories. <laughs> See, you can lift it right by the lid. It's really a nice secure seal. And we've got all the air out of it. Now this is the way I seal and store my dehydrated mushrooms. But you don't have to do that. Um, the thing you have to be careful about is moisture. So you want to keep moisture away from your dried mushrooms. But for me, I've got that vacuum sealer, so I might as well use it. And it works great for all my dehydrated goods. And we just write morels. May 17. Now once you jar or bag up your dehydrated mushrooms, um, it's good to keep them in a cool, dark place. So this jar will be going in my basement pantry. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to preserve your foraging harvest of morel mushrooms. It is extremely easy, and boy, can they taste good in the middle of winter. Well, according to my husband anyway, because I love to find them, but I don't eat them. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge. Thank you so much for your support. If you want notifications of my videos, just hit that bell below this video, and thumbs up if you like the video.